Good happy Monday, I'm Rick. And I'm Sarah. And we are Above, above the, the dash. dash. Have a good weekend? Perfect. We win yet another championship? Two of them. Two? What two? Uh, flames and extremes. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's right. We were uh, runners up, of course. That's what we're good at. Me. One day we'll be as good as you guys. One day. Maybe. One day. So, uh, stats for October are out. And uh, <clears throat> if you believe the media and the national news, you uh, might think the end of the world's coming. They explain all the fires, God forbid, and of course we're saying prayers for those people. And uh, everything that's going on, all you hear about anywhere is the national housing crisis coming back again and stats going down. But one thing about real estate is what? It is always what? Citizen, citizen. Always local, right? Local, 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 location, location, location. So all real estate is local. Even during the extreme crashes, there were parts of the country, like up in Seattle and areas like that, that were breaking records. So you always have to look very hyper-local and local. So, what we have here is a report from the uh, West Volusia Association of Realtors. So it's all realtors that are members of the West Volusia Association. It's basically a uh, report of all the sales um, that they have made. And it calculates over a year. Now, you would think that the sales are down, right? But are the sales down? No. What are the total sales for the year last year? 2,571. And what are they this year? <laughs> 2,576. So up five. So it's not necessarily up a lot, but it's up how many percents is that? 19. 19%? That's what it says. Uh, 0.19%. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was like, that doesn't make any sense. That's what the paper says. <laughs> so less than, less than one. Two tenths of one percent is what it's up. So pretty flat. Um, so what about um, what about total units year to date for total units instead of single family homes? There's like a three point difference, right? On the third page. Same report. So the total units, that first number she gave us was single family homes. The total units sold is what? This includes condos and townhouses and everything like that. 2878. 2878. And is that last year or is that this year? This year. Okay, and last year? 2881. So that's a difference of three. So the biggest difference is in the sales price which has gone up substantially but right now what is where at 10% it's 140,000 right so everything above 140,000 to what 300,000 is that where those two lines are yeah 140,000 to 300,000 is where most of the activity is so you get above 300,000, activity drops off. You get below 140,000, and activity drops off because, well, there's just nothing for sale in that range. There is for sale above 300,000, but um, those aren't selling quite as quickly. The, the, the hyper part of the market is between 140 and $300,000. Yeah. Alright? So, let's move on. <laughs> we could have tore these pages out. What? We could have tore these pages out. Yep. Okay, so there's a metric that you use, and you hear this is, they measure this at the national level, at the state level, at the county level, and at the local level. And it's called month supply. So how much supply is on the market? And basically what you do is you take the total number of properties on the market, so let's say it was 100, and you divide that by the number that has sold in the prior month. So let's say that was 10. So you would then divide 100 by 10. You would have 10 months supply. This number 
is considered in equilibrium, meaning that prices are perfect, at six months inventory. So if the number is six, so for instance, if, if there were 60 houses on the market and 10 had sold in the last month, that number would be six, and that would be considered perfect equilibrium. That number has been, uh, about four years ago, was up, what did we say, 7.5? It was up around seven. And before that, in like 2012, the number was up to like 12. When Fer Sarah first started here, the number was, <laughs> hey Sarah. When Sarah first started here, that number was uh, 10. So it is now drop down, drop down, drop down, drop down, drop down. And it got down as low as 2.7 at one time units on the market and of course what happened to prices when there's no inventory when there's no inventory prices go up that's right so prices shot up so prices are up one hundred thousand um, dollars since four years ago since it was that number seven they the average sale price back then was something we'll tell you later when we get on that page was around like 110 115 and the average sale price now is like 215 220 something like that we're going to tell you exact numbers when we get to that page it was 125 then so 100 and what year was that what month and year um november of 2014 the average list price was 125 with 6.7 months inventory okay and now Average sale price is two twenty two with three point five month inventory. Yep, so there you go. So it's actually if you look at it year to date, three point seven months inventory, but it's three point five months inventory um, if you look at it on a monthly basis. E either way it's not a big deal. That you kinda average those two numbers anyway. So that was down. How low did it get? What was the lowest that it ever got a month's inventory? I think it was a few months ago. It was two something. months ago. Oh, it was in this year. <laughs> yeah. Two point five. And what month was that? Two point five in May and two point five in March. Of two thousand eighteen, right? Yeah. So you might have made you might but made, from from uh, from March all the way through June. It's two point five, two point seven, two point five, two point six. So you might be able to call a bottom right there. That might be as low as the month's inventory is going to get. You remember everyone's complaining about, oh, there's no inventory, oh, there's no inventory, oh, there's no inventory. Well, now it's up to 3.7. So is that line trending up? 3.5. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, you know, it, it might be. And if it's trending up, then we would, we would expect maybe the market to cool off a little bit. But the total volume doesn't agree with that statement. So we have to watch this very closely and see what's going to happen. So uh, one thing that has gone up a little bit, come on, come on back to that last page. One thing that has gone up a little bit is the uh, uh, days on the market. And we've seen that at the local level. We, we watch DeBerry and Deltona specifically. This is West Volusia, so it's not necessarily all West Volusia. It's all realtors who are members of the West Volusia Association of Realtors. No, the last page. The last one that you were looking at a minute ago. What about it? Um, was, oh yeah, days on the market right here. Where are we at? How many days on the market? 53. Average. So 53, and that, and it was, say, back in those days when there was 2.7, 2.5, just in general, how many days was the average days on the market then? All the same. What? 59, 54, 55, 45. Yeah, so down in the 40s. So now, it's what, so what we're seeing is properties a little bit longer on the market. So now, I want to know, at, there's a certain price range at which there is enough inventory. And I believe that to be above $350,000. So if you're selling a house for more than $350,000, then there is enough inventory and you're not going to be able to push the price on that. If you're selling a house for under $350,000, you're going to be able to price it at the top of the market, at the top of the comps. And then you should be able to expect it to sell in 30 to 90 days, tops 30 to 60 in reality, but 90 days tops. 
Um, but if you're above that price range, I mean, you need to give yourself 90 to, to 90 to um, 90 days to six months to, to sell it. And that's assuming both of these are assuming that you price the property properly. No property is going to sell. I don't care what price range. If you price it for forty thousand more than it's worth, period. You have to price it at market value. And if you price it at market value and use our master's marketing program, then it is going to sell. Okay. Um, that said, uh, how many? How much of a percent is it selling for of asking price in general? Ninety-seven. 97 that doesn't change much it goes down sometimes to 96 sometimes up to 98 but for the most part 96 to 98 percent of asking price is what it's going to sell for so uh, anything else that jumps out on you on those stats over there yeah no. all right so the bottom line is to sum it up if you're selling a house for 140 somewhere between 140,000 and 350,000 and you price it properly it should sell under 90 days quickly but you should be able also to get top dollar for it our master's marketing program will do that for you we identify the most likely potential candidate to buy your property person buying a $350 house $350,000 house a lot different than the person who's buying a $140,000 house so you must market specifically to that party um, our program does that it basically identifies that person speaks directly to that person and then attracts more views more people looking at the property and gets you top dollar give us a call shoot us a text 386-866-1007 we're happy to show you how that works great time to sell in florida end of the holidays uh, if you're thinking about selling your property um, get it in for the end of the year and sell it that'd be fantastic share this video and you will be entered into a drawing if you share it before the end of November you'll be entered into a drawing for a $25 pin Panera Bread <laughs> $25 Panera Bread gift certificate and uh, we would love to give that to you so share this video 386-866-1007 have a fantastic week as we head into Turkey Day and uh, we'll see you later